One lady said that she would love her son to be able to scratch and itch, play independently and move his hand even just a little bit. laboratory is really interested in looking at stem cell therapies for cerebral palsy. So neural stem cells are a neuroregenerative treatment and they can potentially repair the damaged brain and alleviate some of the physical outcomes of cerebral palsy. This stem cell therapy is new and there's some risks and benefits that we don't fully understand as scientists. We wanted to understand what people in the community thought about neural stem cell therapy early in the preclinical phase of research. It's important to know if parents of the children find it acceptable that they will have to have um, ongoing and potentially lifelong immunosuppression for their child when they receive a neural stem cell transplant. Working with the Cerebral Palsy Alliance, we decided to co-design a survey where we presented the risks and benefits to the cerebral palsy community. The people indicated to us that even a small improvement in things that typically wouldn't be looked at in a clinical trial are important to them. The results of our study showed that people would value any improvement at all. One lady said that she would love her son to be able to scratch and itch, play independently and move his hand even just a little bit. And these results highlight that people in the cerebral palsy community value things which are outside of what would typically be looked at in a clinical trial. We showed that in the cerebral palsy community, improvements in quality of life are important and should be included in clinical trial outcomes.